Hello and welcome everybody. If you have a deck of cards sitting by your phone or computer or laptop or tablet or whatever device you're watching this on, shuffle it up. Deal yourself two cards like so. And we're going to play a quick hand of kind of Texas Hold'em. It's not really, we're not really playing anything as we could have the exact same hand as we each have an individual deck. So just for fun, we have some Cartamundi 100% plastic playing cards. These right here, Ace Authentic. Cartamundi. And let's move through this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It could be a flood. No, it's not. Huh. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to be raising with Ace Deuce or Queen of Six of Hearts. Unless I'm feeling really gambly. That's uh, quite a terrible hand. Ravenor Classic again. But that's not what we're talking about. Today we're talking about plaques. By show of hands, how many people out there play with, with plaques? Uh, I guess leave a comment or something if you raised your hand. I, I can't see. So, qu real quick, what we're looking at here. These are available through Apache Poker Chips. And again, if they only sent me something with like a web address, like a URL, at least a name... I mean, let alone a logo or something, then I could show it to you, but I guess we'll never know, you know, anything about ApachePokerChips.com. So, these are available. They're made by MSK. We'll talk about that and what that means with looks here in a minute. And they cost, uh, let's see, they have three different sizes. So there's a 70 millimeter, which costs $5 and change. These are just prices as of the summer of 2018. These prices will change in the future. And then it moves into like the six fifty range ish, around the six dollar price range. And then the, the large ones, these are ninety millimeter, so seventy millimeter, ninety millimeter, and the other ones which are ooh pushing eight dollars. So I guess the easiest way to say it is, but they're between five dollars and eight dollars at the making of this video. Now let's dive into my opinions here. All right, so I there are lots of things to discuss. Number one, I like the way that the plaques have depth. As you move it, you can see the reflection off of these lovely, lovely, I don't know what to call them, they're like artifacts in here. They move. It gives it this wonderful depth. I really like that about these. I also like the side view. Look at this sandwiching layer. You get the blue in here, the white, the clear acrylic. <laughs> it's so lovely. I love the way these look. Just, just look at them. They, they have this really luxurious, uh, go with any set kind of feel and look to them. And I do use these with multiple sets. Sometimes I'll use them with my Tiki Kings. My Tiki Kings only go up to a thousand, so a 25,000 chip is really pushing the limits. Okay, so that's quite a jump there. More often, I use it with my Championship Poker Series chips. Kind of tournament settings, 5,000, 25,000, more of a natural progression. Okay, so that's kind of what I use it for. And every time I pull these out, they're a huge hit. People love them. They go through the usual questions. Questions like, where did you get these? How much did these cost? They never, I mean, like, they, they, it's obvious that these are different brands, okay? Championship Poker Series Majestic. It's obvious to them. They look at them, and they don't care about the chip. They're just like, ooh, plaques. Where? How? You know? And so we have a discussion about plaques. They're always a huge hit. Every time. Nobody has been like, oh, this is, these are stupid. I hate them. Why? Nobody has ever been like that. Playing with the plaques. They're always like, ooh, I want to raise you. 25,000, right? Actually, the most I think I've seen, ever seen in any in front of any one of my friends is four. That's a lot of chips right there. 100,000. That Them's a lot of chips. So, are they perfect? No. Well, let's talk about that here. Uh, for example, when I got these, there were two spinners. You can see they're not perfectly flat. Is that a big deal? Um, I don't worry about it because... I spend my time worrying about trying to shuffle these things. Have you tried to shuffle 90 millimeter plaques? These 25,000s are 90 millimeters. You can see here, here's a 39 millimeter chip, 90 millimeter plaque. Have you tried shuffling these? This is how I try. I don't have a technique. This is just what I try to do. So I stagger them like this, then I stick my finger in here, and then I try to like 
weasel these together and that doesn't work and it's it's hard to do so this is what i worry about more than the spinners but they're not perfectly flat how did we do on that one is that every other one no those two in the middle yeah all right so needless to say it's hard something i need to work on uh and i'm just going to do that right here in front of the camera are you guys still watching are people still subscribed do I still have a follow? Are people still out there? Why would are you still watching this? Um. Anyway, yeah, this is what I do for fun, uh, and you can kind of hear how they sound. Not that you're going to be splashing huge stacks of these. How, who do I? How do I know? Maybe you will. Everybody's different. Everybody's going to use these for different things. For me, and again, this whole video. Oh, do you see right there? That's a pretty good showing of that spinner down there. So. For me, these are not something I'm looking to buy thousands of. I don't want, a, you know, 5,000 chips and 1,000 of these. I, I'd buy these in smaller amounts, right? 10 of these have gotten a lot of use here in the hobby home. So, you know, to each their own. Some of you will want more. Some of you may want less. Some of you may want the, you know, 70 millimeter, 90 millimeter, whatever size you're looking for. So... For me, I really like these. I really, really like these. I'm, I've never regretted purchasing these. They seem very durable. They seem very robust. It seems like they have this like really durable acrylic finish to them. I was worried that they would scratch up really quickly. They do scuff up a little bit, but not so bad that they're unplayable after a couple of uses. Does that make sense? So anyway, I hope that was interesting. Looking forward to reading your comments. If you can shuffle these like magic, a stack of 25 of these, post a video, please. Man, that would be awesome. Do they stand on end? That's a good question. Let's see. Do they stand on end? Well, there you go. How's that for quality? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. My name is John Hobby. Subscribe if you want to see more poker chip related content. And be sure to thumbs up the video. Thank you so much for watching.